Hey, Seamus, how about you give me a shot at that U.S. title? You and Batista for some reason. We're both heels, so I'm not sure there'd be any chemistry between us. What? What does that matter? What does that matter, Seamus? What does that matter, fella? Finally, someone agrees to have a match with me, and it's the phenomenal AJ Styles. It's a date. You better be ready second week of April, because I certainly will. The Miz's attitude has deteriorated considerably. Eric Rowan renewed his contract. Strong Styles ratings have risen since Kurt Angle became their heavyweight champion. Listen, Attack Slug, we're going to market a briefcase, and we'd like you to promote it. What? Okay, Kevin Owens. What's going on here? If you could just plug it, just be sponsored. We give you $21,000 if you'd bring out a briefcase. Um, sure. So my options are to sell out or to say I'm only interested in promoting myself. I am a heel, but also I'm a heel, so why not? I'll endorse your dumb briefcase. Great. Have a free briefcase to keep. Just make sure to mention it whenever you can. Uh, all right, that's... Hey, do you know who stole my clothes? I can't go out here looking like this. Is this... Wait, why? That's an improvement if you ask me. That's Dean Ambrose. But I suppose I can sell your stuff back to you for $7,800. Why am I in a uh, Enzo Amore type situation? I don't care about that much. Yes, I just got paid twenty-one grand for the briefcase. So Dean Ambrose getting back... <laughs> what is even happening? That was weird. Let's go one-on-one -on -one with AJ Styles. Anyhow, welcome to Monday. As you know, on this particular show, there is no... He just dropped the mic. There is no moveset Monday because my moveset is completely randomized uh, because this game allows you to completely randomize your moves. So that's pretty cool. Welcome back to Wrestling Revolution 3D. As a reminder uh, that we are doing this until episode 14. And then on Wednesday, we're moving over to 2K17 Universe Mode. For a week, and then taking a vote on that after that week ends. And AJ Styles just pulling a Sankara there, falling off that table. That was really funny. That was really funny. What are you doing, AJ? How drunk are you, AJ? Marijuana. All right, here we are. Me and this briefcase that I'm shilling. Oh boy. Hey, there's a briefcase. You want to buy a briefcase? I got a briefcase for sale. It's pretty good. It's a good briefcase. I'm terrible at shilling stuff. I don't do it here on this channel. But my character's a heel, so therefore, he's going to shill this briefcase. That is the only justification I have for the briefcase. It's pathetic that you have to hide behind the Miz to even stand a chance of winning. Are we outside? Everyone knows that you'll make his leg attack slug, and it's about time that you were broken! Yes! Well, the Miz isn't here now. I mean, he's here, but he's not here now. Let's put that theory to the... What? The Miz is totally right here. Uh, what am I saying? What am I even saying? The Miz is totally interfering in, the, in this match, so... What is even happening? Anyway, welcome to... A fine... Monday afternoon, Raw is tonight, and we've already uh, been made aware of what is going to happen on Raw, and that is we will have The Big Show, The Big Show, versus Braun Strowman in a solid steel cage match. Getting all them big show spots in while you can because he's done in like February when his contract is up. So, that being said, it's a pretty safe bet they'll do something crazy with Braun Strowman. It's a pretty safe bet we'll see some kind of a insane cage stunt where he either rips the side of the cage off or li lifts the whole thing up by himself or some insane feat of strength because Braun Strowman at this point is basically a cartoon character uh, with his comical feats of strength. And they're all awesome. Don't get me wrong. Braun Strowman has had the best booking of 2017 easily. Easily. Um, so, I'm, de I'm definitely looking forward to whatever. Like, if that match ends in a regular fashion, that would be uh, a huge, huge disappointment. So, I suppose we'll see uh, tonight on Raw. Big ol' spine buster, double A style. Arn Anderson, the enforcer. Um, and I want a finisher here to try to get some massive damage. 
onto the phenomenal one, AJ Styles. Well, he dodged it. He dodged it. How dare you, AJ? How dare you? There we go. Special. He don't want none. He, no. Pick him up. Pick him up. No. Get. I'm going to lose it. There we go. Slug stomp. Pinfall. One. A two. A three. Wow. One slug stomp. It's like an RKO. That's all it takes, AJ. That's all it takes. Now, of course, he's going to blame the Miz and whatever else. P.S. This is a good briefcase, audience. You should totally invest in this company with this briefcase because they're awesome. My profile has improved considerably. AJ suffered considerably. The Miz is happy that his client won the match. Hey, Miz, we're here in the, in the bathroom. Attack Slug. I'm here to challenge you to a countdown battle royal. The first week of May. What? You're, we're friends, Miz. What happened? Sorry. Not interested. I should have known you'd be too scared. You can't hide forever. I'll get you. We're supposed to be friends, Miz. What are you doing? But more importantly, I beat AJ Styles on pay-per-view. Bray Wyatt has turned heel and will now be portrayed in a negative light. Tommy Dreamer has left UKW to pursue a career at Federation Online. Um... Hey, Attack Slug, what do you think of the new outfit that our wardrobe department created for you? Oh, I can't even wait. I can't even wait for this. What is that? I wouldn't be seen dead wearing this garbage. Great. Great. Well, that's going to be match two for today is wearing this absolute horse horse armor. Uh, Nikki Bella. Hey, Attack Slug. I heard you got a match against the Miz tonight. Yeah, I mean, I guess. We're supposed to be friends, but okay. How would you like me to, t to take him out for you? Just give me this money, and I'll make sure he hobbles to the ring. I don't think you can get the job done, honestly. Not necessary. He's the Miz. In that case, perhaps I should take you out for the Miz. I'm getting paid no matter what. Well, that's not cool. Are we going to fight backstage, or what's going to happen here? Yes, we are. Backstage. Wow, okay. This is the first time I saw that briefcase. Also, I'm wearing street clothes because they only changed my in-ring attire. And also, why I, I'm beating up Nikki Bella in the backstage area. This is all very... Slug stomp! This is all very bizarre. So do you... There's, there's no ref here. Is it, like a, is, it, is, it, is it a pinfall situation? Or a KO situation? Or what actually is the deal here? And honestly, losing health is going to be... I, I, I would imagine my health stays the same going into the match, so... Any hits I take here is definitely a problem. That was like a cartwheel takedown. Let me get this shillelagh. Uh -huh. Boom! There we go. Now what, Nikki Bella? Now what? I'm gonna keep on using this shillelagh. Where's Hornswoggle? Where's Fit Finley? He likes to fight? Nope. That's it. We're done here. We're done here. We're done here! That's what you get. I hope that paycheck was worth it. Anyway, yeah, me and his dumb yellow hat. Attack Slug has damaged his rep by abusing his position to endorse a briefcase. Hilarious. Nikki's reputation has been damaged after losing that altercation. That's her, her own fault, to be honest. And I still fight The Miz one-on-one -on -one for reasons beyond my understanding. Out here like the man in the yellow hat looking for Curious George. What even? Nah, son. This is some... <laughs> Like, as if the outfit was not bad enough, just that terrible yellow hat that I had to wear on top of it is just phenomenally bad. Uh-oh. Miz, Miz has a mic, because of course he does. I'm sure he has some things to say. We were friends, Miz. What happened? Just because I wanted a shot at your IC title, you aren't even an IC champion anymore. You lost it to Sheamus. And then Sheamus wouldn't fight me, so that's a whole thing. I normally don't do this. But I'll be damned if I can go another day without, without telling you about this briefcase. It's a quality briefcase. It's no exaggeration to say this briefcase changed my life. I don't know where I'd be without it. Certainly a lot poorer. And you don't have to be a wrestling superstar like me to own a briefcase like this. Wow, a tax slug sells the F out. For just $100, get one of your own. I suggest you do so before stock runs out. That's actually a pretty good price for a briefcase. You obviously sold out. But so has this arena. And they pay to see me kick your corporate ass. How am I corporate? It's, 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 a, it's a briefcase. It's a briefcase. It's fine. Relax, Miz. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Anyway. 
Moving on, uh, it is a, a very slow news day. So thankfully this, this, this game has been absolutely insane today. Uh, very slow news day, but there's been a lot of discussion on this whole airport autograph thing that I guess got kicked off by Sasha Banks making some statements uh, in an interview about how she's tired of the creepy stalkers at the airports and the hotels and whatnot. And then obviously a lot of other wrestlers chimed in on that whole thing. And my own personal opinion on that is like, find better things to do with your life. Like, when I go to a show, either wrestling or, you know, a concert, like I'm paying a, a ticket to go see a show, and then I come home. I'm not hanging out afterwards, I'm not looking for, you know, where they're staying at a hotel, like that, that's just weird to me. But, I don't know, that that's just me. Like, personally I have better things to do than to go try to meet famous people, like, kind of whatever. I don't know. Uh, and it's, it's not... I don't find it... I don't find it terribly interesting. They're just people like everybody else, you know? They're talented people, but they're, they're just people. So, I don't know. But yeah, that's the... the, the, the that's, that's been kind of a thing. Uh, the, the choke slam the past few days. It's weird. It's weird. Like, don't hang out at airports. That's super creepy. Oh, Miz, you lost in a minute and a half. And I'm still damaging my rep by endorsing this quality fine briefcase. Sergeant Slaughter renewed his contract. Nikki Bella improved her strength. Earl Hebner renewed his contract. And that's how you know I could never do any paid sponsored nonsense on this channel is because I literally cannot be sincere about it. It is the dumbest shit in the world. Anyway, tomorrow we have a tag team match. I'm assuming I'm still tag partners with The Miz. I don't actually know. Uh, versus The Big Show and his tag team partner. So that should be... Interesting, tomorrow's one more, episode 14 is one more, and then Wednesday will be uh, 2K17 Universe Mode. Look forward to that. I'm a tax slug. Thanks for watching. More videos every day, and I'll see you next time, right here on this channel. And I'm out!